Hello everybody, it's Becca here again, and I'm going to be doing a get ready with me today. Um, I already put on my foundation and did my eyebrows. They're really dark though, so I tried a different... I tried using um, the Jaclyn Hill palette, I was using this one. And then I like drew the line on the bottom and was like, holy shit, I don't need it that dark. So then I tried to use this one, and it was still really dark. So. I'm just gonna have to work with it, I guess, because it's already done. So I'm not gonna redo it. I'm going to contour. And I'm just gonna do my normal contour. So, as you guys know, I use the um, Anastasia Contour Kit in light to medium. And I use um, this shade right here for my cheekbones and forehead. And then I use this shade right here for my nose. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm going to use the same brush as always, so my Morphe M523 brush. Um, this shade right here. Whoa. <laughs> Sorry about the reflectiveness. And then take this shade right here from the Jaclyn Hill Becca palette. It's the um, uh, Amaretto Mineral Blush, but uh, it's really dark, so I've never actually used it for blush. I just use it to make like right here more intense in my contour. the dark one and I'm going to use um, this color right here for blush. <clears throat> I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill palette again. And it's beautiful so uh, yeah. I don't have a problem with it. So I'm going to use my M441 brush and I'm going to go in with, first I'm going to do this color and then I'm going to put this one, this one on top. So I'm first going to go in with that one and then I'm going to put that one on top of it. And I'm just going to like put it in my um, crease, you know, just like a transition shade so that everything will blend together nicely. Because this is most likely going to be a pretty dramatic look.
bright red. I want to say it's called like Hunty or something like that. Something awesome. Um, right, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna focus it like a little lower, but still like blend it out, you know. Or the 433 to um, bake the corner so that I can keep like a sharp line. And make sure that like fallout doesn't mess everything else up. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the red directly underneath the one that I just used, but since I'm trying to do this one above it, so I'm gonna go in with this one right here. gonna like start packing it on my lid oh my god that's so gorgeous start with this shade and then I'm gonna do this one and I'm gonna do this one on my lower lash line in that order with the Morphe E18 it's a pencil brush but it's a little bit fatter so you get like nice smokiness out of it
but first chopstick. And this is Burt's Bees um, Coconut and Pear. It's literally my favorite flavor ever. Thought it was gonna be weird. I don't like coconuts. And pear is like such an interesting flavor. You know what I mean? Um, but it's actually fantastic, so. If you're looking for a good chopstick, this one's super hydrating. I recommend it. All right, so now I'm gonna use um, Max Twig for my lips today. that same pencil brush and clean it off of course and highlight the inner corner and brow bone with some champagne pop putting on some mascara. I don't really like this mascara very much, but it's what I have. in the like container it comes in but I don't keep the thing that says what kind they are so I don't know what kind these are I know that they're Ardell because that's like the most common brand at the drugstore all right and then I'm gonna use the duo glue the black kind because it kind of makes it give the illusion that you do have some eyeliner on and when you do have eyeliner on, you don't have to go back through and cover it up so it doesn't look like weird sh white shit on your eyes, you know? Alright, so... Oh, 
Alright, so there's the lashes. And I'm just going to douse myself in chill makeup setting spray. And of course, do not let yourself crease that. Alright, so now I'm gonna go do my hair. Alright, so I'm finished with my hair. And I did decide to go curly today. So here is the finished look. If you made it to the end, thank you so much. Oh my god, why did you scare the shit out of me? <laughs> oh my god. My boyfriend just got home from work. Scared the shit out of me. Okay, so if you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching. And please be sure to subscribe down below and click that little bell thing so you get notifications every time I post. And if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up because it helps me a lot. And thank you so much for watching. I will leave all of my social media links down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!